Darwin. Ball run. Here comes Copeland. It's in the air over the top. Into the gap. The ball rolling down towards the four boundary mark and it goes over. Here comes again. Drives on strike, calling for LV. He's given him! Second wicket for Newcastle, LBW. Oh, got him. Little inside edge off the bat. Might have even flicked the pad and onto the stumps. Another one gone for Newcastle. Depends which bank you go to. Don't go to Hamilton. Oh, big shot through the gap, through the covers. Will that go down to the boundary for four? Here he comes now from the northern end. Good shot. That's four. One bouncing into the fence. Weber goes to six. He may well now go to ten. Ball goes all the way into the fence for four. So Weber unleashing. Oh, have a look at that. Another four. Straight down the ground. And into the side screen. Just over the back as well. Oh, have a look at this. Will it clear the fielder there? You bet it does. It clears the fence. And it goes all the way into Mrs. Smith's front yard. On the 2nd of November. Bowled him. Straight through him. Knocks him over. Newcastle lose their fourth wicket. And Weber goes for 19. This is it on the replay. As mentioned, they were originally known as the Hurstville Bicycle Club. Also started their competition here in 1906. There's a six all the way and slams into the fence. Uh, New South Wales defeated Western Australia by five wickets last oh, year. Here's a chance. Coming underneath it takes a beauty. Nice catch there by the six in Simon Chu. Price goes for it. Could be out. Takes the catch. Another wicket falls for Newcastle. Okay, coming in. Glennon opens his shoulder blades and says, I'm going to smack that out of the park. We'll have a look in here again on the Bart TV replay. And keeping from Seymour. McGill on strike. Oh, he wants a quick one. He's going to be run out. He's gone. Blowing. Good fit in MCG. They strike it down the ground. This is going, going, gone over the top of the fence and into the trees for six. Good shot straight down the ground. Trent Copeland is back on from the northern end. Will it head towards the boundary? It's getting closer. It's going, it's going, it's gone. Nearly cracked his head on the cement. But yeah. the ball found the line. It's pretty dry well, I'll give you the tip. You said <laughs> over the top. That's six. Yes, he puts his hands up. Here comes six. And in and opens the leather. Bang, crash. Just short of the commentary team. Comes Hicks, bowling to Ganinen. Ganinen goes over the top. Another four, just finds the grass, I think you'll find. Umpire disagrees, he gives six. Ganinen, is he going to, yeah, up and caught. Caught and bowled. Cameron, a few overs to go. That's in the air. Into the gap, going down to the boundary for four. Oh, inside edge, and oh, it's going yeah. to go all the way down to the boundary for four. Well, you need a bit of luck, and they've got it. Yeah, the old French cut. If you can uh, get away with that, you'll take it. That's a good four there to end the, end the Newcastle innings. Newcastle end with eight for 146. Canin and top scored with a beautiful uh, 42. I think that featured about four or five sixes. And Littlewood um, were very supportive innings there in the middle with 28. And uh, Weber, too, chimed in with a... Uh, Nice 19, which again featured a several sixes. Pull up a little bit and entice Chu into a, trying to go down the ground. Chu. He'll find the fence. Good shot. 
And um, he had plenty of room out there. But there's only one fielder out there, and he's picked him out like a dirty nose. Yeah. Straight down. He gobbled it up, facing Seymour. Into the gap. That's four. Beautifully played. Lightning field. Four runs. Beautiful shot by Seymour. He's, he's cracked that through backward point. 24 for the loss of one. Good shot. Will it go to the boundary? You bet it does. Nicely played. Here comes Weber. Go get that. Six. Over the fence. And uh, try and catch a ball. I haven't seen it happen yet, but. Oh, inside edge and goes all the way to the four. And through to two four wide. Okay, Bond strike. Over the top, whips it away. Heading down into the shadows and all the way into the fence for four. Okay. Goes down the ground, looking for six, and he's got it. McCabe, he wants to take his chance. Oh, and he swept that beautifully. Through backward square leg. There's no one down there. Cave and Seymour. Cracking shot. Rolling down the hill. Could go for four. Well, it is. Yeah. Rules may be different. That'll go all the way. Nice shot. Just hasn't got his line right here, Bailey McGill. He's um, watching their, their family and friends here in the game of cricket. Sweeping. This could be close. He's yes, up. he's given him. LBW. Like. Got him! Straight through him. Yeah, beautiful ball there. He um, sort of changed his um, flight again, a little bit flatter that time. In the air, into the gap. Four runs for St. George. Placement perfect there. Second over for Darwin. First sweep, nice. That's four. Beautifully played. Confidence in his ability. Go over the top, maybe bring the field in a little bit. Copeland. Ball going down the hill. Will it go all the way? It does. Four runs. Another reverse. Oh. It's got a bit of height. This might go all the way for four. Charging down the ground. This could be out. Easy catch. Well, Copeland on his way back to the... Ah, oh, well timed, sneaky, brilliant cricket. Very good shot, yeah, he's um, Cameron's a couple more singles and twos and threes and, and minimise uh, minimize their risk a little bit because um, I think St George have showed that you can do that and you can win games. Well, there's a direct hit there. The field's in. Oh, and that's all the way. That's the ball game. Yeah, a little bit anticlimactic in the end with... Uh, I was wide, expecting a six or something. Wide to finish off, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's cricket sometimes. And yeah, well-deserved victory for St. George. Six, win, six wicket win with uh, five, up, five or six balls to spare in the end.